Okay, so why acting, doing a feature film? Instead of doing theater forever, instead of being on somebody's YouTube channel forever, or uh, figuring out a way to do TV forever, uh, why did you do films, one? And then two, why did you do a horror film in Pakistan? So I get to ask those questions. I am a huge film person. I've seen films. Um, I go back to whether it be the classics of Gone with the Wind or going back to the Marvel movies nowadays or uh, <laughs> I could go on and on. But I, I absolutely love film. I love film. I love seeing narratives and um, being moved, being inspired, seeing that there's opportunities, possibilities. I absolutely love film. Okay, so going back to the first question of why a feature film, other than I love it, is so it started here, did some commercials in Arizona, different stuff like that. Um, after I did commercials, uh, from that point on, I got more education, not just uh, in real estate finance and investing, and investing, but I got more education um, in acting, directing, filmmaking, different stuff like that at the same time. I was working one day and I was praying, I was praying God, I said, God, I want to apply this knowledge. How can I apply this knowledge? And out of the blue, I had this thought and I had this feeling that I need to go to uh, LA. I, I mean, really, I never really spent, I don't know if I ever had been there or spent any time there. I go to LA. I go to Hollywood Boulevard. I go to different places where there's the huge homeless crowds. And I just experience LA. Um, I love it. And at that time I had money. So I go to, um, oh, the Ritz, uh, the Beverly Hills Hotel. And I go to their museum and see, see all that. And um, believe with my agency that I was already in, we had a pretty big discount there, but to spend 800, uh, what was it, not 800, it was $1,800 a night there. Um, it was expensive, but it was so inspirational. At the hotel, I'm eating a sandwich just down below there and I don't know who this short, squatty guy is that I'm eating next to, but it was a pretty good sandwich. And uh, after I get done with the sandwich and get talking with the, um, finishing up the conversation with the guy sitting next to me, a guy comes up to me, he's like, dude, you're just sitting by Danny DeVito. And I was like, what? Who's he? So I experienced uh, just driving out there, I experienced um, oh, just the, some of the excitement, the history of Hollywood, and I'm just inspired by it. I'm just inspired by it. I feel uh, so compelled to share stories. So I make the point that Hollywood is where I belong if I want to share the narratives, or not so much Hollywood, but things that you uh, do in Hollywood. It's the film hub, the closest to me from Arizona. And uh, yeah, I just made a goal, had a plan, felt commanded by, you could call it God karma or just higher powers that I have to be out there. So that's what I do. So January of 2022, I am out there. Uh, I'm brokering, I, I brokered a few different deals, flipped a couple of houses out there. Um, was going to school and then um, <clears throat> when I was going to school at the Beverly Hills Playhouse um, <laughs> yeah I, I was trying to negotiate with, with the teacher slash director of the film school that I didn't have to say F uh, so many different times not that I completely despise that word like no other it just didn't make sense 
it wasn't the best for the story it wasn't the best for the character and the guy the director i'm not going to say names but he used me as a public example and kicked me out of that uh schooling and uh just randomly just completely <laughs> unexpected from that point on after he kicked me out i formally was working on uh i had two books two books even before i went out to hollywood um and i i couldn't they weren't in straight play form but uh there would be huge massive budget um massive budget uh movies but yeah i i was devastated nonetheless that i got kicked out of the school and i was going back to just stories you know it's not about acting directing um or even writing it's about making a story that inspires somebody that moves somebody that can um cause people to uh reach higher do better i realized a couple of things one that that um i was in no place to do a big budget movie i didn't know even who scarlett johansson was it's one of those people that you i paid attention to the character and the story but i didn't pay attention to the names or the big the director's names i met gilmore del toro i didn't know who he was um i met some of these pretty famous names and then also as well i did a bunch of shorts so after i got kicked out you know of the school and not doing theater so much i was like okay i'll be in shorts so i i got a butt chunk of shorts um i was basically the drunk guy in a few different feature films um bigger films or just the nobody in the background and uh just felt like I didn't have a chance to show truly who I was or represent characters that I wanted to be or characters that I thought should come to life. So that's when I um, was just praying, what story could I do? What story should I create? Time passed and I was just waiting for the inspiration. I was trying to put some things together. How in the world can I be the actor, be the director, be the producer, be the writer that I want to be? And <clears throat> I went actually back to the Beverly Hills Hotel. And after I went to the Beverly Hills Hotel, uh, I'm trying to remember what day it was. It was sometime like in February of 2022, I met this, this girl. This girl was an Indian actress. She also ghostwrited and she was a painter. And she doesn't want me to use her name. You guys probably will know her name. But uh, I was just eating at breakfast there at the Beverly Hills Hotel. And uh, I uh, was talking with her and she was talking with me. And um, we had nothing going that day. So I was like, yeah, let's go on a date. Let's go on a, a, a hike. So we go on this date, we go on this hike, just randomly meeting each other literally that morning at breakfast at the Beverly Hills Hotel. And um, we are just talking as we're doing this hike. And we're talking about our desires and she's educating me on things. She knows more things that I don't know. And she says, either you do, if you want to create stories, if you want to create movies and be in them um be an actor writer producer kind of like Sylvester Stallone or trying to um be the, like Tom Cruise 
and his style, you either do one horn, which was against my uh, creativity, uh, was against my creativity, against my morals, or two, you do horror. Anyway, we just started, um, she just started talking and telling me more. And I was like, okay, well, shoot, I kind of like the scary, I, I remember telling my sister scary stories and stuff like that. I, I remember telling my classmates about uh, Bigfoot in elementary and trying to get them scared. You know, it's like, that, that's, that's stories that I've shared that I, I like, they're kind of fun, you know? And, uh, <laughs> Anyway, we just started talking and we started talking about life experiences. She shared to me about how she was from India. Um, uh, what is it? Bollywood out there. She was in 300 something commercials. Uh, she came out here on a whim. She, uh, for her to pay rent, she had to write X amount of articles uh, daily. Um, uh, anyway, quite a, quite a famous girl. And um, I started talking about my life experience. I told about how my experience, my education, how um, I went on a mission, a two-year mission for um, a Christian church. And I had a hit and run accident where um, one, I logically was pronounced um, with all my bones on the right side of my, my body broken. Um, and then two, uh, I had a, a very spiritual, powerful experience. Um, and I also, logically, they pronounced me dead uh, on the police report. For this feature film that we were talking about doing, I'm like, I don't have 150,000, uh, you know. From that point on, we pretty well parted ways. We had that romantic date some inspirational stuff. From that point on, I talked with another ghostwriter out there. He also is a personal trainer. His name's Jenkins Barker. He's done a couple of books. He's kind of fun. Um, but um, that's when I um, thought of other experiences. I told him some of my life events, told him I wanted to do horror, and then I also told him about Pakistan out of all things, some of the legends out there. How um, uh, I went out there with, actually when I was going to school and when I was flipping different houses, different stuff like that. Um, and that was back in 20, 2020, 2021 uh, during COVID. And how so much of the people were controlled by fear, controlled by, uh, by people that wanted to um, not inspire. And uh, I was like, you know what? This goes along with a horror film. So from that point on, that brought me out to creating the story, the screenplay, and I actually did that. Jenkins helped a bit, but... Um,
going out there shooting that definitely definitely was a shocker um, it was kind of like me I went out there in the past for not just business but there was a guy and this was back in 2021 about a year not quite a year before I um, was actually out there to shoot the movie There's a guy that was saying, hey, we really would like American pastor or somebody spiritual to go out there and share about Christ. There's people that are dying. Um, <clears throat> they're extreme 97% Muslim. People are dying out there. Um, we just would like to show that there is an uh, American that's not scared of Pakistan. I was like, well, I'm no pastor, but I'll go out there I'll go share a message. So I go out there, I share a message about Christ, I share a message about coming to Christ. I have death threats. Um, yeah, it, it, it was a crazy experience, but I, I definitely was so empowering. Anyway, so it was similar actually to that same experience of shooting um, this this film, uh, Death Sound, Chickathump Village, when I was shooting out there, there was, I don't know what was uh, was happening, but yeah, the guy that, the guy that was uh, um, helping direct it, Musop, yeah, there's definitely, we had some creative disagreements, um, it wasn't quite like I was getting death threats, but oh, geez, it was super intense. Anyway, but we were able to shoot it. I can save it for another video talking about how the shoot all went in Pakistan, how the shoot went in LA for Death Sound. Um, but uh, yeah, that's really why I did film. Uh, big reason is that I couldn't see the other opportunities. Um, uh, so I was like, you know what? I'll create my own opportunity. Uh, so that's film. Pakistan is that fitted really well with the horror film of people being controlled by fear, being controlled by the invisible. Um, and I was like, wow, let's figure out a way to do this. There's opportunity. Let's create this story. And that's a, a chunk of it is a real factual story.